Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today I have a short news update video for Modern Warfare 2. Infinity Ward has released a brand new blog post, and in there we got a little bit of information. Some of it's pretty good, some of it's kind of just irrelevant and kind of stuff that we don't really care too much about, but regardless, we're getting information from Infinity Ward regarding the game. That's a good change, and also, it appears that most major changes and major updates are going to be happening to the game with Season 1, so if you're like me and you've been thinking to yourself, this game kind of feels barren at launch, we're missing a lot of features or wondering what is going on with the game, Infinity Ward are basically saying that on November 16th with Season 1, that is when actual updates are going to be going through. This is kind of like the preseason. They're treating the launch of the game almost as if it were another beta for some reason. Kind of interesting. But regardless, here is going to be the blog post. I'll put a link to it down there in the description. And here is going to be the information that we got. Number A, they are actively collecting weapon performance and usage data, and they're going to give us more detailed updates on weapon balancing with the launch of Season 1, so if maybe you're thinking this gun's too weak, or maybe this gun is too strong, or maybe some snipers should have some goddamn flinch, then we're going to learn more about that on Season 1. They're not going to be talking about it right now, but updates are going to be coming to the weapons here with Modern Warfare 2. Number B, this is a pretty big one if you ask me. The leaks and rumors were true. The UI and the UX, they are going to continue to refine the user interface and will have more details once again for Season 1 when that launches. So, yeah, it's almost like they give us a blog post and they're like yo wait till season one that's like basically like the entirety of what they said here i did post a video earlier today where i showed you guys there's this new invincibility glitch some of you were like well nero now everyone's gonna do the invincibility glitch dude i'm not the first person to show people how the glitch works i'm also one of the few people that are showing you how to prevent the glitch from happening in the first place but infinity ward is saying that they are aware of the riot shield invincibility glitches against the chopper gunner as well as the vtol harriers so basically until a patch goes through that fixes these issues do not use the chopper gunner do not use the harrier because if you do that you're basically inviting the entire enemy team to go invincible on you the entire rest of the match which is not something that we want they're also aware of the ddos field upgrade availability bug i'm not sure what that is and they're also aware of another bug affecting helicopter height which allows them to leave the map in some instances they did update their trello board here today where they give us a bit more information but honestly it's mostly just non-factor stuff if you ask me like we're not talking about the the lack of barracks, we're not talking about weapon changes, we're not talking about combat records or stat tracking or leaderboards or anything like that. They're basically just fixing a number of these random issues. They have fixed, apparently, a number of issues that were causing stuttering within the player base. You can apparently update to the latest NVIDIA drivers now if you play on PC, because previously, if you had the most recent drivers, that would cause your game to crash a bunch. They have not mentioned whatsoever anything about Team Rico Chet and what's going on with all the false fans. Of course, they're still not talking about that really whatsoever. However, but one thing they are talking about is going to be the leaked soccer event. So recently I posted this is from Ghost of Hope saying that during season one, we are going to have a World Cup crossover event with basically the return of the uplink game mode. And then today, a bunch of soccer stars all at once at 1 p.m. Eastern, because it was like a scheduled tweet, put out this right here where they show themselves having their lockers filled with different Call of Duty stuff, boots and their name and of course, flat jackets and things like that. So there will be a soccer event of some sort they're still teasing it we don't know what's going to be happening with it but they are teasing it and one other thing they're teasing sad days right now for Skullface as well as Reed Boy I've been following Reed Boy pretty closely I mean he's one of the first people in the world to actually get the Orion camo dude's been grinding and streaming himself playing and sleeping since the launch of the game he got Orion and it's not even really animated well Infinity Ward did put this out saying that they're going to be increasing the animation speed of the ultimate camo in this game which of course is Orion right here you can see that apparently it is animated it's going to move like ever so slightly though honestly like when i see the camo the way that reed boy had it it barely looks like it's moving and then you see this right here it looks like it's noticeably moving but is this as fast as they're going to be making it because what you should do is just take this video right here speed it up by two or three times and that's how quick the camo should actually move at least in my own personal opinion but as always we really don't know it's the cod franchise and they're infinity ward like they're transparent but they're about as like transparent as a brick 
wall. Like they're trying, <laughs> but it's really we're not able to quite see through just yet. So we're we'll have to wait and see how things are going to play out. But ladies and gentlemen, once again, they did put out that blog post. I told you in my video earlier today that I would be covering it. Unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot to cover, but the big takeaways once again are season one. We're going to be getting weapon balance updates. We're going to be getting UI updates and they're aware of a bunch of bugs in the game and they're going to continue working on them. That's essentially the long and the short of what Infinity Ward has said here. We do know that with season one, we're going to be getting the launch of the battle pass. We do know that new multiplayer maps are going to be coming out. We do know that new multiplayer weapons are going to be coming out, presumably along with a bunch of other things, including this soccer event that's going to be happening with the World Cup. Did I say World Series earlier? I may have done that because I'm watching the World Series, but the World Cup, the soccer event <laughs> is going to be happening. So yeah, just stay tuned. As always, I'll keep you guys posted as we learn more. Unfortunately, we didn't get a whole lot of details today, but hey, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just relaying the information to you guys. But for right now, that's all for this video here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.